All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday, and this is actually the last Fake Card Friday before my big break. I'll be taking a break from YouTube uh, to pretty much use the channel, changes prepared, get uh, uh, you get to a draft league season two uh, prepared. So I'm gonna be away for a while. So like I said, next week I'm I'm ending it on Wednesday. Like Daily Duels ends on Wednesday, and that's when my break begins. So you won't be getting a video from me Thursday or Friday, and then for a cool minute. So I really appreciate if you stay subscribed. If you want to go ahead and unsubscribe, then I understand that. But I need to take this break to not only just give myself a break because it's been like a year since I took in the break from YouTube, but also. A lot of these channel changes, they can't go into effect unless I get everything organized. So, uh, there's, I'm going to be super busy. Don't think that I'm going to be taking a break. I'm just going to be chilling, relaxing. Like, no, it's still going to be busy. More behind-the-scenes things. Uh, you might get an occasional video from me, possibly. Like, uh, I, it looks like my break will be November in December. So, I'll probably come back in January with that. Uh, you might get a balance prediction from me, despite me being on break, I think I still won't do my balance prediction because I'm going to predict that the list is going to be in January, so I'll probably do my prediction sometime in December so you can see that, and then hopefully that will hold you over uh, until uh, I can get everything organized and all of that, but that, that's another topic to discuss. Anyway, uh, we are looking at a, yet another fake card. This fake card was sent to me by number Hunter 9 uh it's an evil card and uh i had to do a little bit of research i mean i wanted to go ahead and review this card for you but i've never played the deck i've never played evils before or at least in recent memory uh i mean i don't like solemn judgment-esque monsters i think they're freaking stupid in Yu-Gi-Oh, and we already know Loki and Noka. you know it's just like i i, I played i played i could came back into Yu-Gi-Oh during the Donald rabbit era and i was not happy with that so uh i just never really touched evils you know uh, but I did a little bit of research for the Fake Card Friday, and uh, we're going to go ahead and determine whether your uh, monster here uh, is a thumbs up. Yes, if it was real, they would play it or not. It's just going to go in the positive other evils. Because I can definitely say there are some evil swords and evil lights that are good, and then some are bad, and then some, you know, uh, the good ones you definitely know of. You know, you know Westlow, you know Nadasha, you know Deplo, you know. But there's some that, you know, you don't even know the names of because they're just not good. They're just not played. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this in consideration with the most optimal version of the deck and see if this card kind of fits in. So this is Iwasor Ankilo and uh, the card art. The, the background? The background fits, definitely. That definitely looks like an, an evil background. But... I can't really say the the actual monster. It's too it's too realistic. Uh, I'd say that like, it literally just looks like you took a picture of an okay, so It's just too real, too realistic. If it got toned down a little bit more cartoonish, I can go with it. But it, it, it's looking too a little bit too crisp. But it fits. It fits. Uh, it's a fire level four dinosaur effect monster. Seventeen hundred attack, one thousand defense. I mean, seventeen hundred attack is missing a scoff hat. That's it, fine stats. All right. Uh, if this card is special summoned by the effect of an evil tile monster, you can add one evil spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. That's, that, that's a good effect. I can definitely, I definitely say that that's a good effect, and that's coming from a person who doesn't even know the deck that well. So, uh, as we know from uh, a little bit of that uh, Yang Zing Zephyr, when you are able to search your spell slash traps in your deck, it's pretty powerful because uh, spells have traps, especially in decks like this and Yang Zing, those are power plays. Those are power plays. So, by already doing your job, by just tributing your, your Eva tiles to summon your Eva Sars, this guy will go ahead and get you a search. So, that's pretty good. So, whether it's Westlow flipping up, whether it be attacking two, you know. Uh, or you flip it up yourself and you get that summon, special summon evil star, summon this. This is special summon by an evil tile, so therefore I get to search for the good. I get to search for evil form. I get to search for diversity. I can search for singularity. Like, th those are all cards that you play at three in the evil deck, and they're actually really good. So, uh, definitely, uh, that effect is actually really good. You can also do, uh, Nandrasho as well. If Nandrasho is, uh, tributed then you can uh, go ahead and summon this as well. You know, whether it be uh, through whatever forms of tributing that you generally use. I've, I've seen the deck do uh, enemy controller. Of course, it uses its own tributing and uh, evolve force. So, I mean, there's ways to tribute uh, the Nadasha. 
So that that's good as well. That's good as well. So you can actually get a lot of pluses because you can summon a Josho, then you can play Evil Force, which would generally be a neck because you tribute a monster to exchange it for a different monster, so that you and you play this card says neg, but then the Josho will summon you an Evil as well. Uh, and of course the monster that was uh tributed by Evil Force uh is special summoned by the effect of an evil top monster. So if I have Najasho, then I play Evil Force, tribute to Najasho, the Evil Force will summon, let's say for it hypothetically, one of these, which will give me a search, and then the Najasho will also special summon me, guess what, another one of these. Uh, this card does not say it can only use its effect once per turn, so pretty much with just opening up or having the two cards of Najasho plus Evil Force, I literally just special summon two of this Ankylo and then search two of my uh, Evo spell or trap cards. So whether that be, you know, two uh, two diversities for double search or two singularities, because we already know how great that is. Uh, and of course, this card is level four. So, you, you know, Logia and Doka are coming as well. So overall, the first effect is really good. This card's not done. Like if it, if it literally just had just that one effect, the card would be good. Like, you would definitely play this card in your evil deck. But this card's not done, people. If this card is detached as an extreme material, so, uh, I mean, of course, you could do it for any rank 4, but generally you're locking in your Doka, because they're your boss monsters, your rank 4 uh, big guys. Uh, you can special summon one evil tile from your deck and face down defense position. So, generally, when you X a unit, you know, I'm going to take two monsters, turn into one, whether it be Lagia, Doka, I neck. But by detaching, which the detach for costs, you know, that's the that kind of resources, you get a plus. This card is detach and the material. I get to go ahead and summon an evil time monster for my deck face down defense position. I mean Najasho's fine, he has a two thousand booty, he might survive. But I mean summoning that West Low and face down defense position to be flipped up to summon the evil swan monster from your deck. I mean it's just great. It's just really great. Like this this card if this card was real, if this card was real, evil also would run I definitely think they would run three of this card. This card's just really great. Like it helps the deck with the searching and spell trap. That alone is enough. The detaching and summon back evil tile to keep your resources and your engine going, that's really great. It's seven channel attack, which is nothing to scoff at. It's a level four. Like overall, this card works really well to deck. Really great synergy. So I mean, even with my little bit, my tiny little bit of knowledge of the Evo deck, I can tell that this card is really great. So uh, I'm gonna have to give you a thumbs up on that one. This card is actually really good, really good. Uh, uh, number hundred nine. Thumbs up, thumbs up. So uh, here we go. Uh, fake card Friday. <laughs> I said, we're taking a break. It's going to be a while before you get another fake card final from me. But um, like I said, stay subscribed. Uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Uh, don't think that I'm just going to disappear and you're not going to hear from me. I'll probably upload a couple videos now and then to tell you how things are going. Like I said, I'll probably upload a ban list prediction. And uh, when we come back from the break, don't think that Fake Card Friday is over, because it's definitely not. Fake Card Friday will continue with the channel changes. That, that, I mean, Friday, it's Fake Card Friday, it's a Friday thing, it's in the name, there you got me. I like this series, I really do. So, uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think of Evosar and Kilo in the comment section below. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Um, I need to get more organized with the, with the fake cards. You, you guys have been sending me fake cards. Uh, some of them are like, yeah, I can look at that, and some of them are just like, yeah, I would look at that, but it's not interesting or eye-catching, it's kind of bland or boring, so, you know, of course, I'm, I'm the final decision with, when it comes to what cards go on Fake Card Friday and what cards don't, but... Um, if you guys want to send me fake cards, like I said, put them in the comment section below. Uh, send me the card image. It has to have an image. It has to have an image. It just can't be an effect. It has to have an image. You can easily Google search image, slap it in the card. I don't care, you know. Uh, but it has to have an image. I, I will talk about the image, but it I mean it's not a major factor. Uh, and uh, preferably, like if it has a really long effect, the effect as well, so I can just copy and paste it into the description instead of having to type it all out. It's kind of a pain, but that as well. Um, and especially over my break, if you guys want to send me fake cards, and of course I will keep them, keep them organized, the ones that I really like and review. I mean, we can go ahead and hold them until I uh, come back from the channel changes and uh, we continue the series of Fake Card Friday. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, I will see you guys next time we do Fake Card Friday after a break. It'll be a while, but it's worth the wait. Alright people, thanks for watching.